Mark, uh, I feel this album is different from the others of that time. There are different influences. I mean, the way Mike sings, the solo guitars, the lyrics. What kind of vibe do you feel in the studio? Or do you feel like a Chicano vibe in the studio? Oh yeah, huge, huge vibe in the studio. Um, it's interesting because now like revisiting these songs, you know, I don't listen to these songs every day of the week. So when I hear them again now, it sort of brings back memories. And I've, you know, a song like Lovely, which is interesting because I, I remember, you know, lovely is a very English word. And I, I would always say, oh, that's lovely. And, and those guys in LA, they never heard anyone talk like me. And I'd say, oh, that's lovely. Or isn't that lovely and lovely. And Mike picked up on it and he's like, he's like lovely, you know, and he took that word. And, and then with that track, I remember listening to it and I, Originally, the guitars went all the way through, but now if you listen to it, they drop in and out. And I was just fucking around dropping them in and out at one point and saying, what do you think of this? If we drop them out here and then bring them back in, or just that, get rid of that bit and that bit and that bit, it kind of gives this whole track a different vibe. And Mike was like, yeah, and because Mike was very quick at picking things up. And he would go, yeah, that's cool. Let's do it like that. And then, you know, he would go away and rewrite the lyrics accordingly. It, it, that inspired him. So what we did in the studio was always There was always things that inspired other ideas and, and, and different, you know, ways of doing things. Um, with Robert on the, on the bass, I think it was speaking to Robert recently, and he said, uh, um, nobody ever did five string bass on, on metal records or heavy records like that. No, he was the first to do that. And Robert slapped the bass throughout the whole album, which Mike was very keen on. He's like, get him to slap it, make him slap it. Poor Robert, his arm was falling off. He used to go and soak it in cold and hot water and one thing or another until his arm came back. And then we'd go for another five minutes, slapping the old bass till we got to, just hard work slapping the bass all the way through a song like that. But by the end of it, you know, he could do it all day long, but initially it wasn't, Because, you know, because he's a funky little bugger. Estás escuchando el 